Floating plants have become quite common in planted aquarium hobby. In this episode of the series of video that we call Nature Bites, where we discuss about different varieties of plants and animals, we're going to speak about floating plants, where they are found, where all you can use them, the cautions that you need to exercise while using them. We will cover our experience of using the floating plants for controlling algae, which I'm sure you will be excited to see. Also, we were very lucky to see an adaptation of these floating plants, which we are not too sure whether that's seen in nature. And hence, we are very excited to bring it to our viewers. So, please do see this video till the very end if you want to see this exciting adaptation of the floating plants. This is Gautam Gupta welcoming you to the channel of Ripple's Nature Inspired Aquarium. Let's go out and check floating plants. I'm sure you will get some valuable tips out of it. Here you can see Limnobium levigatum, more popularly known as Amazon frogbits, and Salvania natans growing in an outdoor pond. While Salvania natans is common in all four continents of Asia, Africa, South America, and even Europe, one can very well guess from the nickname Amazon frogbit of Limnobium levigatum that this species is endemic of South America. It is native to the slow flowing lakes, ponds, and rivers throughout Central and South America. Here you can see a typical habitat of Amazon frog pits. I have never been to South America, but then thanks to Adobe, I could show you their typical habitat. The third and another popular floating plant is Pistia stratiotes, more popularly known as water cabbage. This was originally discovered in Nile, in the river Nile near Lake Victoria in Africa. But this species has now almost invaded all tropical waterways. Floating plants have many uses. One of the most common use is in outdoor or even indoor ponds. Both Limnobium levigatum and Salvania natans have unique spongy leaf structure which helps them float. And we use them in this outdoor mini pond along with Echinodera species. We basically created a mini pond of South America you can say. Talking about mini ponds, I had to showcase this interesting pond made by my friend and nature lover Mr. Ayushman Khosh. Ayushman is an extremely innovative person and he actually converted this old bathtub into a mini pond and positioned it in his terrace garden. It houses a variety of floating plants and quite a few water lilies. It's indeed a fine example of how you can recreate nature and enjoy the sight of honeybees collecting the nectar of water lilies without moving out of your house. Because of its long root structure, Limnobium levigatum is especially suitable for fish and shrimp breeding tanks. They remove surplus nutrients from water very very efficiently. I'm going to show now how we use this extraordinary nutrient removal quality of floating plants to remove algae from this 6 foot aquarium in our gallery. This tank was facing persistent hair algae problems. We tried traditional methods like shrimps. Yeah, definitely they helped, but then not fully. The algae kept coming back and that's when we decided to introduce floating plants. They first cut out the extra lights and then stabilized the aquarium water and to our relief, the algae was gone in, in no time. Remember, at the beginning of this video, I spoke about an adaptation of floating plants. One day, we decided to pull out one of the frog pits and to our surprise, we realized that the floating roots have gone deep onto the substrate and absorbing nutrients from the soil of the pond. You can clearly make out the white roots. Those are the ones growing under the soil. This pond was completely covered with floating plants. That's why you should be very careful that you do not accidentally introduce them in any local water body. They have the potential to disbalance any aquatic ecosystem due to their first growth. In this case, however, to compete with the Salvania natans, the frog pits have sent their roots into the substrate to get access to the extra nutrient there. You were fortunate to see this adaptation 
and i'm sure you like this that's all i have for this episode friends see you soon with another interesting episode of nature bites thanks for watching